Stay the lane and niggas can't get over. I can't mess with rappers, they be both. body inside of the church the pastor is asking that the services be simulcast and so we had to kind of move the body into the parking lot because we didn't want to fight to break out it was so many people that we couldn't even get the we just gonna leave this body outside of Camp Baptist it had a bad odor to it Woo, Lord have mercy Jesus come on in y'all I am honored to be here on today for this wonderful, wonderful great service of a celebration on today. You know, it is time for us to lay the boom to rest. Welcome in, welcome in to Messy Dolls Boom Celebration. I made sure that I contacted the jail because I wanted to know what wig did he have on when he went to jail. And they pulled that tag to tell me exactly what kind of wig they had on, okay? And so on today, we is going to lay this sidewalk to rest, y'all. We do have some video presentations. I do want you all to know that. But also, we're going to have remarks from you all. We are expecting a live performance. So come on in, y'all. Come on in and have a seat. Welcome in to Messy Dolls Boys Celebration. Okay? Welcome in. Welcome in, y'all. Okay, first we're going to do, uh, we're going to start the scripture out because we do have remarks. And I will let you all know when to call in to do the three minutes, okay? Let's make sure, uh, and let me, hold on, let me put this, hold on, y'all, let me put this up. Y'all, hold on, bear with this, y'all, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all, bear with us, bear with us, bear with us. All right, hold on, y'all, let's get this presentation Together. He may remember the 82-year-old woman yeah. who was arrested for not paying her trash bill in Valley, Alabama. Well, her story apparently making an impression on a Houston rapper who's come to her rescue in a variety of ways. And Newsletter 9's Amaya Graham spoke with that rapper. She has details on how others can also help this East Alabama woman. I'm here in Valley, Alabama, where Martha Minifield stays. Minifield says after being arrested for a trash... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do y'all see the house? Do you all see... Hold on, let me do this. Do you all see the house? Hold on, because we want to make sure we write. Do, do y'all see the house? Have not Remember the house. Oh, no, we'll forget it. Back in November of 2022, Martha Minifield was arrested for failure to pay... What? Not paying your trash bill. What? Yes, Never ever forget them handcuffs. I, I can take being in that cage, but them handcuffs, if they handcuffing you at the front door and putting you in that police car, I'll never forget it. Ever. Minifield says her arrest is something that still makes her emotional. I am so, I am so sorry, but the wrong moment. I think about it now sometimes. And I just go to cry because they hurt my feelings. 82 year old. I can say that my feelings is always hurt, so. Houston rapper Trey The Truth found out about Martha's ordeal through social media. He says it was something that made him... A GoFundMe, y'all. 
So with her feelings being hurt. Now hold on, hold on, y'all. Now watch this. She honestly did. She Martha Mayfield she is Messy Doll's grandmother. Y'all watch this, okay? The same grandmother that raised him in Ville, Alabama, okay? Now, watch this, y'all. Watch this. Play close attention. Now, some people may say, well, Kenny Lee, is that his grandmother? Martha Mayfield, Orlando Mayfield. Hold on, y'all. Because we pull up. We got the records, y'all, okay? Wait a minute, y'all. Let's do another presentation. Hold on. Here is Orlando Mayfield, La Alabama. There's that current address for his grandmother, the same address that they got on the story, y'all. Ain't this Orlando Mayfield? They go, his gr they go to address, the same address he used on his paperwork when he was arrested. But hold on. Hold on, you all. There was a GoFundMe. Now, I want you all to play this close attention because here's where it's going to get deep. And this is how Messing All stole his grandmother's money, okay? Now, listen, you all, you old trash bag. Now, watch this, y'all. This sidewalk, this sidewalk used his grandmother, okay? For a mother go find me. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Watch this. Now, there was a GoFundMe done for Mrs. Mayfield, the 82-year-old. Now, in the write-up, it said my name is... Hold on. But let me show y'all the GoFundMe so you all can see. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. He go to GoFundMe. Do y'all see how much money that this is raised? Y'all, he go to GoFundMe. She raised $36,000. They was initially asking for... 25,000. Now, watch this, y'all. Who organized this? Go fund me. Martha Mayfield? No, she's 82 years old. How could she organize her own Go fund me? Organized by Martha Mayfield? No. Miss it all. You. You. You had control of that mother. Go find me, Missy Dog. That's why you was able to do that. But hold on, y'all. Wait a minute. It gets a little deeper. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because we got we got more. We got more. Now, we don't want to talk about his charges. There was a young man who was only 17 years old at the time. Hold up, y'all. Send in. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute before we go any further. Send in. Send in this to get real deep y'all remember his name is orlando mayfield aka messy doll okay hold on y'all and by the way this wig was the wig he was arrested with when he went to jail i called the jail because i wanted them to send me the exact tag on that mother wig and i ordered it okay just so y'all know come on y'all welcome into the bull celebration for messy doll so glad to see you will atlanta wow Ooh. Go fix your pack of mother rome and noodles, the chicken kind. Because you can't even afford the mother shrimp flavor. Y'all better get that old cheese and cracker eating that. Better fix your mother bologna sandwich and cut that bitch on the end. Hold on. Is that messing all in here, y'all? Oh, Lord. I'm dead. Not, I mean, my sister's not ugly. All right, King. 
better call my sister ugly. You too, Dad. You said what? You, you better not call my sister ugly, okay? <laughs> Boy, get, my, get your hand out my face. Get your hand out my face. I did. All right, that's all. I'm going to keep it like that. Keep your hands out my face. I don't right. play with you like that. All right. Pat me in the my controller pit. Tank. Go get it. Go get it. Look, look at your scary ass. Thanks, somebody for walking in the house. No, yes. You're so damn scary. Yes, we're walking in the house. You're so fucking scary. Hmm. So, what was that for you? What was about it? You're so damn scary. Even you when somebody come in. They better come, they better come with me. Will come with me? You look ugly. Not you, Dad. Yeah, you gotta die. Oh. This one. Why you don't have all the characters? Mm. Y'all remember me? Yeah, they remember you. They always asking about you. Ain't they always talking about you? They be like, go take care of your son, bitch. Yeah. What you gonna call my dad? What you gonna call my dad? Yeah, they be telling me all the time. They be like, go take care of your son. You don't never have your son. You be on live. You, talk, you care about them dogs more than you care about your son. No, she ain't cheating. She got them guns, Dad. You gotta beat up. Dad, she is. She cheating right now. Y'all can't, y'all can't be fighting in the cafeteria and everything, y'all. This man be fighting. I be telling him, like, it's, not, it's not all about fighting, man. You ain't gotta fight everywhere you go, man. You know, some people, I be trying to tell him, like, I don't want him to grow up fighting every damn day. Well, he don't fight every day, but... He think he a damn bully. And I don't want him to be nobody bully, for real, because you know bullies get their head whooped, too. And he be at school fighting and shit. Oh, you being a mother? Nah, bitch, I'm being a daddy. I'm being something that you can't be, because you got titties and a motherfucking hormone pill, bitch. I'm being something that you can't be. I'm being something that you can pr you can never proceed to be. You know what I'm saying? You can be a mom or a dad because you want to be. A, you know what you want to be in your life line, and you know you can't be near one on. You can't even put that in because when you get on them hormone pills, you know them heart your nuts start to ease on out. So you don't don't be funny because you know we can get the read why he in here. Yeah, don't be funny now. Don't be funny. <laughs> Dad, be her they say the kids be bullying you. No. I got gang guys at my school, and I, they my bodyguard. Oh, you got securities? Yeah. Oh, shit, you got it like that? Yeah. Shit, I need to hire some security. I need to, I need, I'm just playing with my friends, though, y'all. I be playing with them. I just be playing with them. I love them. Dad, I'm going to take my sister. Dad, I'm going to take my sister. I was just, I was just telling them that you. I was just playing for you. I just told them I was just playing with you. I love y'all. You know, I just said that. Who's she cheating right now, bro? <laughs> I just, y'all don't talk about my friends for real, cause I have to read y'all about my friends. Don't talk about my friends. Cheating right now. That help me. You want me to help you? Yeah. No, too late, Dad. Too no, late. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Watch this. Watch how I be playing. And put that same character, okay? Okay, I'm just play retry. All right. Whew. Okay. Push that. Oh, Dad, see? Now beat her up. You don't say. I'm doing better than what the hell you was doing. <laughs> All she knows how to do is shoot. That's what she gonna keep doing. Cause she a little girl. It's so easy to be her up. Dad, press, press. press. Let, me, let me do it. Let me, let me do it. Oh, yeah. oh, daddy, pay attention. Yeah, I thought, I thought, I thought someone else was. Come on, man. You making me lose, man. Man, come on, man. 
See? I'm being her ass. You can't do what you couldn't even do it. You couldn't even do it. You couldn't 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 do it. Be the ass. Yeah, I'll be the ass. Yeah. Thank you, Dad. Round two. Fight. That's all she can do is shoot. That's all she can do is shoot. But I'm gonna show I'm gonna show what your hand gonna do. Now you said the reason. Dang, she slipped you down. Ooh. Oh shit. Dang, that could be a lot of girl. You just got your head with all night by a goddamn girl. What the hell you talking about? She put your head all night. She got you ready for your money all damn night. All You let girls finesse you? Uh-uh. New, these, little, these little hot little mamas gonna get all your goddamn money. No. Call they, yes, they is. Because no. you let them finesse you. You let these little girls finesse you. Dang, they got to get up out of the girl. Yup, sure did. He let these little girls finesse Dad, me, y'all. Man, stop yelling at me if I hit you with the controller. All she know how to do is shoot. Yeah, that's all she know how to do. That bitch don't, that bitch don't know how to do shit else, but shit. Now you got to judge. Man, bro, I know how to play the goddamn game. I've I been having it for you. I'm about to goddamn make your ass turn into uh, a Mortal Kombat game. I'm slamming in your shit. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't two players. I'll you, beat you up. Got me fucked up. I'll, now you got me. It's more than one We can play together. Yeah, who going to win me? Okay, I will beat your ass in this, in this no, game. Oh, no, you Go win. get that controller. Alright, alright, alright. Now you go, let's your control them. No, that, I, I use the red one. That's my favorite one. Mm, mm. I'll beat you up. Y'all, who, who you think gonna win? Me or my dad? But stop looking at me. Don't talk to my goddamn dog like that. That's my dog. Don't talk to her That's like that. That's my dog. Don't talk to her like That's that. That's my sister. Come on, man. Press X, man. Mm. X. Press X. I did. Let me see. Turn your game on. Huh. Oh. Yeah, turn it on. Turn it on. Press it. I did. Go to the oven. Go to. Hold up. Hold up. Go up and see your controller. Yeah. Okay, then I don't want that person. I already got my person. I'm finna whoop his ass. <laughs> yeah, I need glasses. Okay, I need. I... You are you gonna be him? Yeah. Okay. F pick a location. Pick a location. Uh, uh. I'm finna whoop his ass. No, I want to do that. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna spare him no mercy. No mercy. No mercy. I ain't gonna spare that nigga no mercy, y'all. I'm finna whoop his ass. I'm telling you, I ain't playing no more. I, I, I ain't giving you no mercy. I ain't giving you no mercy. I'm about to whoop this ass. Dad, yeah. Nah, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no goddamn way. I told you I'm gonna whoop your ass. I told you I'm gonna whoop your ass. Oh, shit. Y'all already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna whoop his ass. 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 Yep. That way you miss. Mm. I ain't miss. I'm finna show you. Mm. Dang it, Dad. Yep. You made all that blood come off of me. I know, and I want one. I'm enjoying this. You enjoying that? Yeah, I'm definitely enjoying now, now, why the fuck would you just slap me in my head? <laughs> no. Dad, please don't give one try. You want to win? Yeah. Go ahead and win. Why you not pressing us? Dude? I am pressing that I'm letting you win. Because I know I can demolish you. Daddy, you think you're going to let me win? All right, that's why I ain't going to press nothing. Dad! Dad! I'm going to go ahead and eat your ass right quick so I can go. Beat your ass up right quick. Dad! 
So I got, I got things to do. I got to go handle some business. I'm going to beat your ass. Wait, hold up. Wow. Show Dad. you what I'm working with. Who you just saw you playing with, Dad? Who you just saw you playing with it, bro? Who you just saw you playing with it, bro? Okay, you won. Yeah, boy. Yo, yo, boy. Yo, boy. Yo, who you this on you is? Who you this on you is? Hmm. Who you this on you is? Who you this on you is, Dad? Who you this on you is? Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, I have to do it. Y'all gonna come stick on Wednesday, so y'all know. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no, a little bit. Oh, I told you I'm gonna beat your head. Watch this. Hmm. Dad, lady. No, no, no. Because when I was trying to be nice to you, you played with me. <laughs> well, I beat your head like I thought. <laughs> All right, y'all, we'll be back. I got a pussy beer, what that mean? <laughs> like, I eat, like I eat pussy beer, I heard that. A pussy beer? My name is JP, what you mean? Nobody said that? Somebody said that. <laughs> I got a beer made for English. I'm a little worried about my dress because I don't know. Alright, gonna turn out, y'all. Why I didn't see them both sides? I don't know. I get because it's just me eating, I get. Yeah, I don't get it. I didn't know I had to. Hold on, let me see my best friend back. Be trying to be funny towards us like me. Uh, my DM talk about, oh, Shema, you look just like my sister and you smell like her too. You never been around me to know me. So don't say I look like your sister because I, cause I don't. And if you got a problem, address it. That's exactly what I told her. Address it. I'm not running on high or ducking for no if they want to smoke. But don't come for me if I didn't come for you. Don't get me started if I ain't get you started. Olos, apprentice, whatever you call it. Yeah. That part. That way. Like, you need to learn how to mother respect a bitch like me. But when I clap back, I'm going to clap back. And when I clap back, I'm not going to give <laughs> So don't come in my DM and try to start with me. Because I'm telling you. Once you get me started and I go off the way I go off, and I read you, oh, you're going to be mad. Mm -hmm. I'm that type of get a mad. <laughs> okay? And I said what I said. I will get you so mad to the point you'll be ready to fight me. And you'll be ready to go get you to fight me. 
And then I'm gonna have to fight you in your And then we just gonna <laughs> Yeah, it's just gonna be what it is, baby. But other than that, don't come for me, love. Cause I love re Okay. For the birds, I can't, I can't do it. And the crazy thing is, I think this is my karma, bro. I feel like this is my karma because when I was younger, bro, when I was like freshman year of college, sophomore year of college, you know, junior year of college, <laughs> yeah, I was a bro. I was, and it was good as people, but it was good as people, and like good. Positions. Type. I now I do believe in God. I do believe in God. I did pray to God. I did pray um to God that He healed my body. But still, man, that's wild. I'm not calling you, son. But um, type, what I'm gonna say? Um, yeah. So anyway, I got back in. We woody woo, and then um, I ended up, I ended up um, I was at the Georgia Florida game. I was at Georgia Florida game and. Yeah, I had my both my parents with me, um, cause I was I was about to go to Georgia. I was about to sign Georgia. Like my whole family was Georgia anyway, so I was finna sign Georgia. So um, um, by halftime, I, like I was like telling my mom, I was like my head hurt, like it hurts really really bad. Type of thing. And I was like I don't feel like standing up no more. So we had went and got um in the stands. Type of thing. And um, at the end of the game, I had a fever of one hundred three point seven, and. She yeah, so we went back to the hotel. The next day, they took me to like this quick care, but it was like quick care for a hospital type. Thing. And they was like, "So, what you talking about?" But anyway, um, they was like, um, I had ulcers in my throat type. Thing. So, cause okay, th that morning when we woke up after we left the hotel, like we had went to McDonald's. And they was trying to get me to eat, but I didn't want to eat. And then they was like, just drink something. So I drank a Gatorade and it hurt going down. So they was like, we're going to take it to the, to the doctor or whatever. So the doctor was like, oh, he got ulcers in his throat. What do we do? So, she, um, so she, um, they gave me some antibiotics or whatever. So, boom, I kept telling my mom, I kept telling my mom, I was like, I was like, mom, I was like, I need to go to the hospital. I need to go to the hospital. But my mom, she was like, just take your antibiotics, just eat your food type shit. And, um, you know, you'll be all right. But I was like, but now mind you, I got these ulcers in my throat. So swallowing even water, like that shit was painful as hell. So, um, I wasn't taking my antibiotics. I, I wasn't eating either type shit. So one day I had failed and I, she was at work. I was at home by myself. So I called the ass and I was like, shit. Oh, I need to go to the hospital because something's wrong. And they was like, nah, nothing ain't wrong. So she, they came and got me. They took me to my great grandma. My grandma, my great grandma prayed over me. And she was like, y'all need to take them to the hospital. So by the time I left my great grandma's house, I couldn't walk. Like, I couldn't move my legs. And it was crazy because I walked over there. I was fine. And then I wasn't fine. I was like weak as hell. But she, by the time I left, I couldn't walk. So they took me to the hospital, they did a whole bunch of um, tests on me, and everything came back negative, so they didn't know, know what was going on. So they did a spinal tap. They tried to do a spinal tap or whatever, but they couldn't do the spinal tap. So um, they had airlifted me from the hospital here and took me and flew me to the trauma center or whatever. And um, I was there for three weeks, I think I was there for three weeks. But I had to get a neurologist to fly out from um, from North Carolina, Dr. Hope. Hey, shout out to Dr. Hope. That's the best neurologist you can have. And the um, the Shepherd Center of Atlanta, the Spine Center, that's the best. Those are the best people you could ever work with. But anyway, um, yeah, so boom. They didn't know. They ran every test possible. Bro, I, when I tell y'all... I was calm throughout the whole ordeal. I was calm. Because I just knew. Like, I just knew God was going to help me. I'm for real. Y'all might think I was just talking, but I knew. 
for a fact. I knew God was going to help me. I knew God was going to help me. So, um, they, they ran every test possible, literally every test possible on me. Everything came back negative. They didn't know what was going on. So, um, the day that the doctor came in and was like, um, he was like, um, okay, mind you, the same day that the doctor came in, he was like, we ran everything, every test possible. Everything came back negative. We, we don't know what's going on. Like my family, all of my family came and they got down, they, they brought food. I'm talking about in warming bed. They brought dressing, macaroni and cheese, fried chicken, turkey. It was like a Thanksgiving. That's where to God. It was like they brought a whole Thanksgiving dinner to my hotel room. I mean, to my own, my hospital room. So shit, I'm like, damn, leave for one thing. I'm finna die or some shit. <laughs> so my family left. Everybody gone type shit. It was just me, my mom, and my dad. And Doctor came in. He was like, see, I had um, see, I had a, a large gathering here earlier. He was like, I was gonna stop out earlier, but I didn't want to interrupt. So he then he told us, like, you know, if you feel me, we done the right every test possible. Ain't nothing we, yeah, ain't nothing we can do right now because we don't know what's going on. Everything's going back negative. So, man, um, that same night I lay in the bed and I was talking. I, I started praying. It was like one or two o'clock in the morning. I started praying and I told God I was like, okay, man, like this is how I talk to God. Like I talk to my dad. I swear, I don't like. But anyway, um, I was like, okay, like cool, like. I, I go around to all of these churches and I sing about you being this awesome God, this healer, this provider, this way maker. I go around to all these churches and I sing, but I don't see what I'm what I what I'm what I'm saying. I don't see what I'm saying. So I told I challenged God. I told God I was like, I need you to show me you are who I tell people that you are. And I need and I and I need you to heal my body. So, like at the time, like when I was going to all of these churches, they was requesting me to sing one one specific song plus another couple of songs. But they always wanted me to make sure wanted to make sure that I sing this one song, and it's called "He's Able." So I was like, I'm going to all these churches, and I'm telling them how you're able to help them out of their situations, heal their bodies. Um, change their hearts, heal their minds, regulate their minds. Like, I'm telling them all of this, and I'm laying in the hospital bed, can't walk, and none of these tests come back positive, and they, they don't know what's going on. So the only other person that can really know what's going on is you, so I need you to show me who, that you are who I say you are. Y'all, I did you not. Y'all, I went to sleep that night. After I prayed, I had peace. I woke up the next morning, Man, the doctor, the doctor came in like twelve o'clock that afternoon. The next, the next afternoon, twelve o'clock, twelve o'clock on the doctor. He came in, and he, he was like, "We don't know what what happened, but after we ran some more tests, we're gonna release you in five more days." So I was like, "Huh?" He was like, "Yeah." He was like, "We ran some more tests," and he was like, "We're gonna release you in five days." Woo, woo, woo. So mind y'all, I still can't walk y'all, but I'm doing. Um, I'm doing therapy. They got me doing therapy, like physical therapy while I'm in the hospital type shit, walking with people type shit like that. So that was like, they told me it was going to be another year or more before I learned how to walk again by myself. They told me, they told me that, um, they told me that it was going to be a year or more before I learned how to walk again. By myself, they had me standing up, trying to stand up in the shower with a damn one of them damn stool type shit the things that I had sit on. I ain't never used that shit. Y'all, I learned how to walk. It took me a month and a half to learn how to walk again by myself. <laughs> two months, I was back to normal. I swear, two months, I was back to normal. So that's why people be like, they be playing with me. They be calling me bishop. Or they be like, I be faking or whatever may be said. Like, y'all, I know God for real. <laughs> you can't tell me what God can't do. I swear.
I swear. Let me go see that. Matter if I'm gay or not, that should not have sent me the most invitation to go. That should not have sent me the invitation. They knew I was gay. They knew I was gay before I even went there. Like that is stupid. They knew I was gay before they went there. They knew what it was. Like the fuck, I could have stayed at home and then somebody stole my motherfucking bull bag. They stole my motherfucking iPhone charger and they stole my motherfucking bottle. Like, what the fuck? I could have stayed where I was at. All right, y'all. I didn't claim you to be messy, and I didn't claim you to do too much. I came here only because I felt some type of way. Only because, you know, I've been doing these 21st ones, and, you know, my goal, you know, while doing this was to get the client. You feel me? So when I want this to go to a Morella video tonight, my goal tonight was to go to that video and, you know, to get her some courage and works but you know she chose me she picked me you know and I respect that even though I didn't like her but I was kicked out I was kicked out I don't know why I haven't been told why I was why, why I was told why I was kicked out and I wanted to wait to see why I got kicked out <laughs> but I just feel some type of way I really do I feel some type of way only because I feel like I was only kicked out because of my sexuality. And I don't want to stop no opportunities. I don't close any doors that's open for me. But I really feel some type of way. I feel some type of way because I feel like sometimes women need to hear great advice. And the fact that I came there to give a great advice and I got kicked out. It feels some, I just feel some type of way. I don't know. But I could be wrong. You need some zest in your life. <laughs> So I wasn't gonna do this, but let me go ahead and do this. I was at Amaretta 20 versus 1, and she chose me. She chose me because she knows that I was a homosexual and she know my sexuality. But she chose me because I gave her good advice. And you know, I want to see her make it. I didn't care because I don't, I'm not trying to be in a relationship with her. I do not want to be with her. But the fact that she chose me because she wanted to take a picture with me, and not only that, that, you know, and they kicking me out of the studio because of who I am, it really aggravates me. Because I could not stay where I was at. And I thank y'all for inviting me and letting me be a part of y'all production. But kicking me out because of my sexuality is crazy. It really is. Because you all know how much I had to pay to get where I was at?